everyone. <laughs> Gonna plug you guys in. going to take me a minute just to get situated. Hi! Let's see. I thought tonight I would pop in and we can paint a little bit. Hope you guys are doing, having a good night. Hope you had a good day. I had a fun class last night at Monsoon's Tap and Grill. And I thought it would be a good night just to do a little more painting. I've been sneezing a little bit. I think these winds and the weather have um, definitely kicked something up. I know my family's been sneezing too. Okay. Hello. So tonight I thought we would paint a little bit. I wanted to show you the paintings from my last week pour. That we did the live streaming on. This is the one we did the flip cup and it's so cool. It dried amazing. I need to put a coat of the clear on it but look at the cells. They're so pretty. Hopefully you can see them. They're layered. They have multi colors in them and I love how all three colors turned out. So this was the flip cup. This one was the open cup. We had the open cup and then it um, the paint went underneath the cup into the black. That was fun. That is one of my favorite techniques. And I was able to somehow manage to keep something of a circle there. So it definitely gives a little more definition and something more interesting to look at. And then this one was the double flip cup where we used this, we filled up this inner cup, then we filled up the outer cup and then just flip cupped it. And it got a little busier with all the paint and the different layers of paint, but you can still see all the cells in there. Dried amazing, no cracking, no crazing. And for those who don't know what that is, that's when the paint layer dries too fast in the under layers, the paint will actually crack, get these deep crevices and cracks. And if you go to my website, my uh, www.deserthippiearts.com, I wrote a blog post on cracking and crazing because I did have some last year do it pretty heavily and uh, it has a lot to do with how your art dries the environment it's in and how thick your paint is. So I did write an article on there and let me know if you guys get questions with that. It can be kind of complicated sometimes. Oh, look at, it's almost like a little ghost or something. Here's the arms, here's the face. <laughs> okay, for today though, I mixed up just a little bit of paint, not a lot. 
And I thought, let me take this plastic off the canvas. I forgot to do that. It's an 8 by 10 canvas. We would have some fun and do the strainer pour. Strainer pour is very popular, especially on Facebook, TikTok, all the little short clips. It's kind of how people are learning about acrylic paint pouring is because of this cute little strainer. And I got these off Amazon. If you need a link, let me know and I'll send it to you. So I'll set that aside. I need to put a uh, tiny bit of water down here. This is my spinning box. And since the canvas is just going to sit directly on it, I need a little bit of water to help hold the canvas in place so the canvas doesn't go flying. And I learned that the hard way. And then let's grab some white paint and I'm gonna do my edges and my corners have you guys seen the streamer the strainer pour yet have you guys done it uh, let me know let me know how it turned out and if you liked it the first time I did it I hated it it didn't come out. It was a big giant blob. The next couple times I did it, I was a little more patient. And I liked it. It was fun. Okay. This I just want to make my edges and sides. Make sure they're covered. I tend to forget sometimes and I'm gonna put a little there and this is just the white paint gonna set my strainer into there and I mixed up some colors and I just use simple craft paints this one's Crimson, Craft Smart, got it, Michaels. My friend Sherry's the manager, the Ina. Not Ina anymore, they just moved. Orange Grove and Thornydale location. So I go buy my paints and I say hi to her. You can use other paints, the heavier bodied paints if you like. They just tend to be more expensive. I have good luck with these paints, so I don't feel the need to spend more money than I need to. This one, Craft Smart Multi Service Amethyst. And I'm just going to pour this right on top of that one. This one, look how pretty these colors are. Pink tourmaline, multi-surface, metallic. Metallics are a little harder to mix than the regular ones. They tend to be thicker. You tend to use a little more pouring medium, a little less paint, and sometimes the balance can be a little tricky. And I tend to forget my spinner's not level, and I can see it pouring out right there. This is my gold, classic gold, multi-surface metallic. These golds are real pretty. They look kind of uh, muddy and dull, but when they dry, they're very shimmery. I love them. Pour some in there. Wow, looks like I kind of need a 
take a better look at my spinner. Got off kilter there. <laughs> look at that bright green. Neon green. And pour some in there. And those are the colors I mixed. I think I'm going to do another layer of each one. What do you guys think of these colors? I thought they'd be very pretty together. I love how this green just pops. And I would like to put some white. Right in the middle. <laughs> Grab a napkin. I'm starting to make a mess. Now Try it a little bit this way. <laughs> it's all shifting. Look at there. And these I think I can take off. And instead of tilting, that's why I have a spinner, I'm just going to spin it. And we're going to watch some paint fly. Okay, I would like to get this more center. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> look at that. Let's do it one more time. I had a ton of paint on there, huh? I really like this. circle there. This is cool. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to use a little less paint this time. Sorry, I just dropped stuff. I was setting up the camera to stream and I dropped my phone. I went to hit live stream and Facebook decided to do an update. Which, for whatever reason, it likes to do that with me. Right when I'm ready to go. And then it took away the live stream option. This is really cool. It looks like little flowers are at the end. I really like that. I've lost all the purple, but that's okay. Grab my white one more time. We're gonna work on the edges again. And this time I'm not gonna use white in the strainer. Or on the bottom, I'm just gonna start adding the colors. And it's fun just to experiment, mess around. See how the paint moves and the best part about it is let it dry if you don't like it just do it again right on top of it just make sure your canvas is dry it's one of the biggest questions I see in these groups is can I pour over and you absolutely can you just got to let it dry if you're using silicone silicone tends to rise to the surface. You need to clean it or let it be and just see what happens. 
I'm not using any silicone in this. I didn't see the need because I'm not really going for cells. I'm just doing a strainer pour and seeing what happens. Just a little experimenting tonight. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see if we can keep some of these colors this time. And I do use too much paint all the time. I'm the queen of too much paint. Okay. Let's see what this does. I'm gonna pick it up, let it pour. I'm gonna put this napkin on it so it doesn't leave paint all across it. Little air bubbles in here, but they'll go away. All right, let's spin. Oh, that's very cool, look at that. I may not spin again. And that's another thing I tend to do, spin too many times. <laughs> I'm gonna shift it, because it didn't cover this part. Let's see if I can. That'll work. What do you think I think of this one? <laughs> my torch is still in my class box. I forgot to get it out. Oh, there they go. They're popping. So I'll just blow. Ooh, look at that. What do you guys think about this? Almost looks like a underwater, maybe looking up at a jellyfish? I don't know. Or a very close up of a flower bloom. If you could see in the center, the little star shape it made. So there we go. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. I just wanted to pop in, do a little painting, say hi. Let me know if you've done the strainer pour. Let me know if you like it. And um, send me photos if you have. I'd like to see what you do. So I hope you guys have a good night, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.